violence and anger were on full display during a Trump rally in Minnesota late last week. Except that contrary to what you'll see and read from the news media, the hits weren't coming from the right. No, in fact, there were an awful lot of left hooks being thrown at Trump supporters, though they're unlikely to make CNN's headlines. So we'll show them to you instead. Outside Trump's rally in Minneapolis late last week, an anti-Trump protester spit in the face of an older man wearing a MAGA hat right in the middle of a recorded interview with Vice News. As in while the cameras were rolling and everything. Check it out. In 2016, something that the president was really proud of in his campaign was that it was self-funded and that he had a lot of small... Oh, nice. Now, as if that weren't bad enough, another left-winger actually came out of the crowd and proceeded to tell the guy that while someone spitting in his face was, quote, disrespectful, the hat he was wearing was just as bad. It's not how it really, that's not how people really feel. That's f***ing disrespectful. But on the other hand, that is disrespectful as too. So there's a difference. Because, you know, spitting in someone's face and wearing a harmless piece of fabric, yeah, that's the same thing. Now, later on, a woman walking with a man who was also wearing a MAGA hat was struck in the face by a leftist thug as she was trying to leave the rally. Okay, now, I just want to make sure that I'm still understanding this correctly. So Trump supporters wearing red hats, they're still supposed to be the violent ones, right? They're the racist Nazi lovers who hate immigrants and are going to start shooting people in the street, yeah? Because, see, that's not what I see here. I see left-wing nutjobs spitting on peaceful rally-goers and slapping women in the face. Now, where's the media condemnation of that? Because if some kids wearing a MAGA hat can smile at a Native American man and be accused of all but starting World War III, surely Antifa crazies can at least be criticized for actually assaulting people. No? Okay. Cool, cool, because apparently this is where we're at now. Take Vox, for example. See, they summed up the rally with this headline. Trump's Minneapolis rally was a window into how ugly his 2020 campaign will be. A New York Times op-ed slammed Trumpism's infinite vulgarities. Esquire, of all places, claimed that Trump's Minneapolis rally was a demonstration of the moral suicide pact he's made with his supporters. But leftists can stand outside his rallies and actually pop people in the face. And not only are they almost never arrested for it, it's never even talked about, much less openly condemned as it should be. Law-abiding citizens can't express support for the Second Amendment because that's just too darn dangerous, but liberal lunatics can accost the police and knock people upside the head with bike locks and beat the snot out of conservative journalists and the general populace, and somehow it's whatever. But see, here's the thing. You can bet if one of these guys had taken a swing right back at the loser who spit on them or hit them in the face, there'd be headlines for days about how a violent, probably racist Trump supporter knocked some poor, peace-loving liberals two front teeth down his throat. If the media want to hold themselves up as some paragon of peace and love in a time of civil unrest, they would start calling out the open and rampant aggression and violence that progressives are apparently allowed to display with total impunity. Until then, we're going to keep calling them out for what we already know to be true, that the left and their media lapdogs have absolutely no problem with violence, as long as it's only their side throwing the punches. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.